Paul, thanks for joining us. A nil-nil draw here at Wickham. How do you review that 90 minutes? Um, frustrating really I thought we had like some really good chances first half that we didn't take and then obviously the longer the game goes on you get more frustrated um, which we obviously we did and you've got to try and calm the lads down at half time and ask them to play with a bit more calm um, uh, and then the second half we didn't really create enough chances we had enough corners and free kicks and crosses into the box but it just didn't fall to us and sometimes it's like that the, the only problem is obviously the importance of trying to win every game um, but we have to try and bounce back on Saturday. So, um, you know, a few of our lads weren't on song. That's probably the best way to put it. But then sometimes they're that keen to try and do something to help us win the game. They, they make bad decisions, and that's you, you've got to try and take off the players. You've got to try and take that pressure off them and uh, just let them play the way they have been. So, um, yes, I'm disappointed that we only got a point. However, at the end of the season, it could be a good point because late on they could have scored and we come away with nothing. I suppose that's the key, really. You have to see it as this could be a really big point in, in the long run because you'll know from your experience of getting out of this division the three times before, things fluctuate and change so much at this time of the season. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if uh, anyone in the top six wins their last four or five games. It doesn't mean that we're not all trying to, but the, you know, the, the, the pressure's no different on us than it is on you know, Portsmouth, Bolton, Peterborough, everyone's trying to you know win football matches, and you just have to see the results of recent weeks of, of different teams uh, dropping points. So it's not like um, it, it might be a, it might be a good point. I mean, I'm disappointed we haven't got three. If we'd have took a chance early on, it might have been handsome. But that's sometimes how it is. If we'd have played this game in October, November, came here and got a nil nil, that would be disappointed we hadn't won. But it wouldn't feel the yeah. end of the earth, and it isn't the end of the earth. It's like. We haven't picked up any injuries. We've got Tom through OK. Hopefully we'll have Birdie on the grass this week as well. And we go again at the weekend and we have like three opportunities. So, um, uh, yeah, so it's just disappointing we didn't take our chances. And then the worry for me is that you've just got to try and keep the group together and calm because at the end we're making rash decisions to try and win it and you could end up losing it. So I understand why, because the lads are so keen for success, but sometimes you've just got to breathe and calm and go, right, you know, it's not our night tonight. We'll take the point, um, you know, played a quick free kick in the last minute. It's like, oh, my days. Uh, take the point and go Saturday and hopefully get the fans behind us on Saturday with flags and then uh, put on a performance that ho can hopefully give us an opportunity to win. Uh, and that's all we'll have to do. We've spoken so many times this season about not getting carried away when you win and not getting too downbeat when things don't go your way. I suppose this is the time when it really needs to sort of come into play and, and I suppose you'll just keep reinforcing that message to the players. Just stay calm. I know you said that in the previous answer. Yeah, you, you've got to really. I mean, look, we, I think prior to tonight we played 42 games. What would be one? 25, is that right? 24, 25. 25, right. So, I mean, in fairness, to win the last four is what you're going for. But, you know, we haven't... Not many teams will win the last four. And um, on paper, maybe this was the trickiest fixture of the four left. Um, but every game is difficult. No team, they're not like I said to the lads before, and they're not like teddy bears waiting to be, you know, their belly rubbed. They're not, not going to try. They've got, you know, they're playing for contracts, they're playing for things. These are good athletes, he's a good football team, well coached. It's a difficult place to come. I've never had a great deal of success here, but it's about now, you know, refreshing the lads, showing them, you know, the, some of the bad decisions we possibly made tonight on the ball which uh, we did make a few, uh, and then, like I said, go, go again Saturday. It's no, it's no drama, and like I said, that point tonight might be the, the point that gets us in there, or it might not. There's nothing you can do now. The game's gone. You just look forward to the next one and hopefully put it right then. You mentioned Tom Barkhausen coming back into the squad. Great to see him there. Um, no Joe Ward tonight. How's he? His knee's still swollen. I think we've missed him tonight, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, yeah, his knee's still swollen. Whether he'll be... Um, uh, okay for the weekend I honestly don't know yet um, but he was still sore and it's still quite swollen so maybe this weekend's too quick I know Birdie's uh, back on the grass whether he'll be available for the squad I don't know but Tom's back a little bit earlier it was more of a risk than we'd probably take with most players but we are at that time of the season now really so it's good to get him back on the grass although in fairness he weren't really involved was he so uh, which is disappointing but I thought like Going back to the actual game, I thought there was some good performances, like Nels was good, Cash was good again. Tomo came on and, and gave us a bit of energy. Corey picked a few passes out, but um, unfortunately we didn't do enough to win the game. I uh, appreciate everyone who, who stayed and, and clapped the fans. And it's like, I said to the lads after the game, like it's not going to be uh, four games where people are throwing rose petals at your feet, going, you know, you're the Roman emperor and you're coming back to Rome and you've conquered. Everything's a challenge, everything's a battle. Everyone wants to 
you know, try and stop you. So your, your, your performance levels have to be right up there if you've got to win a game of football, and we need to win uh, another three. Quick turnaround then before you played late or in uh, the weekend, but you mentioned there, just get yourselves going again and get the flags out and let's see what we can do at the weekend. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, we don't know that, uh, you know, like I said loads of times, we, we might only need to win one game. Uh, but all we can do is always set up to try and win, hope the lads are bang on the money, so to speak, and a couple weren't tonight, really, uh, and put a performance in to help us win a game. And we don't know that two wins might be enough, one win, we don't, no one knows, because we don't know what the other teams are going to do. But it's more disappointing because it's come out of our hands a little bit, and that, that's crucial. And so it feels like we've let one go tonight, um, which is disappointing.